Hi, welcome for our online training sessions. In this session, I'm going to explain you how strong we have to prepare SQL and PLSQL for our collapse technical. And are there any separate jobs only on SQL and PLSQL? For example, we have learned SQL, PLSQL, then we have learned Oracle applications, technical. Finally, we are looking for, I'm okay to go as a PLSQL Oracle developer or Oracle apps technical developer This, this in this scenario. There are some openings on SQL, PLSQL developer also. When you apply as a PLSQL developer, then your uh, their expectation will be very high. Very high in the sense, strong in SQL as well as PLSQL. If we are talking about SQL syllabus. What are the things we have to learn? What are the things we have to learn for our collapse technical or uh, for SQL? So first SQL, when we are talking about DDL statements, DML statements, TCL statements, this, this we are supposed to prepare. After that, what are the different types of joints? Which scenario will go for use the joints? Like inner join, outer join, equi join, non equi join, left outer join, right outer join. All these we have to go for practice. After the joins, then we have to talk about set operators, which is very important in every uh, query when we are writing. Not only in PLSQL developer, in PLSQL developer, or D2K developer, or Oracle Labs technical, or Fusion technical, everywhere we will be using this set operators, joins and all. SQL is mandatory everywhere. Okay. So set operators means like a union, union all, intersection, minus. So this is all four we have to be clear. For example, the client says that I'm looking for the suppliers invoices which are matching and also the suppliers payments which are not matching. So both I wanted to retrieve in a single query. Then in that scenario, we'll go with set operators here. And we must be in a position to write a query in a simple way to fetch the more uh, records, means the performance also we have to take care. So obviously performance uh, tuning, explain plan, TK proof that they will be expecting. How to use the indexes, how to pass the hints to the SQL engine, how we can get faster the query result. This is all we have to learn. This is a general expected in the interview point of view. Uh, in your four years of experience, have you done any time uh, tuning. For example, you are running one program, concurrent program, and it's taking two to three hours time, but client is expecting within 10 minutes. How you will go for uh, debug that? Where you will start working on that? Okay, so what are the things you will consider and what are the things you will check uh, in that program? So these are all their, their expectations. So we should be very strong on the basics. If you are strong in the basics, then we can do that. Okay, so when I say basics, when, when we are learning some topic in SQL, we must be very clear. What is the purpose of that? For example, we have NVL and we have NVL2. Why we required these functions? What purpose we required? Which scenario we will be using this? For example, I'm going to develop one purchase order report where in purchase order report, uh, some of the fields are optional, not mandatory. For example, supplier contact is there. Sometimes supplier contact may not be getting. So I can go for use some value. Client wants to display some value instead of null. Then we will use the NVL operators like that. Okay. So decode functions. Then couple of string functions. Date functions are very important. When we are working, almost every report will be using the date functions from date to date, comparing the dates. Uh, and uh, I, I just wanted to know the invoices uh, last month uh, between these two dates. Or I just want to know the invoices for a particular day. Okay, so we have to go with the comparisons. String functions, date functions, and character functions. Conversions, two date, two care. This is all uh, highly expected here it is. And uh, switch statements. How we can go for work with this. And then we will be working with the where clause group by clause, having clause, this is all we are going to discuss. Especially when you are attending for an interview. Difference between where clause and having clause. If I want to use having clause, what are the things are required here? Can I use having clause directly in where clause? Can I use having clause in subquery? Can I use having clause in from clause? 
So this type of questions they'll be asking. So we have to prepare all this and note it down. Notes is very, very important. Many people say that I have prepared, I have done uh, in the lab, I have to practice. But when I am attending for an interview, I am not able to recollect. This recollecting will happen when you do it every day. But we can't do each and every statement every day, right? SQL we have to prepare, PLSQL we have to prepare, apps technical we have to prepare. All the things we cannot uh, uh, remember every day, right? That's why we have to prepare a notes. If you prepare a notes, then what will happen? It may be five pages or six pages. How much time it requires to go through that five to six pages? Important points, not each and every, not the description. What is difference between truncate and delete? Two points, high level will be remembering. What is difference between where clause and having clause? Where clause will be used to filter the records record by record. Having clause is going to be filter group by it's going to group the records and it's going to apply the condition. Where clause will apply the condition for record by record. Having clause apply the condition for group of records. That's the simple. So if I want to use any uh, group function like sum or count or minimum or maximum in the select class, what I have to do? Obviously, I have to write a group by class. Right. So this type of uh, things we have to note it down. Answers in our notepad or uh, in our uh, white paper also so that when the interviews are preparing like uh, every day 15 minutes is sufficient to go through all sql and plsql right so instead of going through the video better this way so that we can easily remember those things okay so because if there is an interview we cannot go through that uh, all for example sql there are 20 videos 20 hours so i cannot go through all 20 hours videos right 20 hours worth of subject you can keep it in your uh, notepad of five to six pages. Take the printout. Keep that uh, printout with you. And whenever you have 10, 15 minutes time, just read those five pages. Enough. It's almost completed. What are the types of set operators? Okay. Uh, union, union all, intersect and minus. What is difference between union and union all? And what is mean by minus? When we will use this? Enough. So the topic is closed. Four to five questions will be there. Like that, we have to prepare the notes for SQL separate, for PLSQL separate, for our collapse technical separate. So the, this is how we have to prepare to clear the interviews. Okay. So in SQL point of view, where clause, group by clause, having clause, we have to remember. Then after that, we have to talk about what are the different uh, syntaxes for we will be using for table creation, view creation, index creation. Types of views, updatable view, non-updatable view, simple view, complex view, and materialized views, inline views. Like this, different types of views are there. Regularly, we'll be using simple views. Sometimes complex views also will be there. What is mean by complex view? When I when I'm having two tables with uh, multiple mandatory columns, but we have not covered mandatory columns, can I create a view? I want to create a view without uh, table. Can I do that? If at all then what is the statement we have to use? Force command, like that, right? So th this is all we have to go for prepare. And what is snapshot? What is difference between materialized view? Right, this these all things we have to go ahead, it is, okay? Then what is subqueries? Subqueries are very, very important. Correlated subqueries. correlated subqueries. So we must be practicing subqueries and correlated subqueries a couple of times and then note it down. What is different? Subquery means first inner query will be executed and it returns the value based on that parent query will going to be executed. Then how about the correlated subqueries? First inner qu parent query will be executed and the inner query, every record we are going to get the result. Like that, what is difference between these two? Subquery and correlated subquery. Couple of examples we have to remember because in the interviews they'll uh, they may ask, right? Can you tell me where you have used the subquery in your experience in our collapse technical? So that time we have to be clear with one answer. Yes, I have used while working with supplier invoice or customer invoice or working with items or working with purchase orders like that. 
okay so at the same time uh, when we are talking about the sql point of view they'll ex they'll expect some performance tuning concepts like explain plan then after that tk proof this so this this is all required so we may not be able to uh, see this practically what is the uh, result for performing but we must be clear with the concept like uh, when we are working with explain plan okay we'll generate explain plan table we got the result what you will do how will you analyze what is mean by query costing how the query will be executed when you write a query oh, okay. first which block which clause will be executed next to which clause will be executed like that we are going to uh, prepare for the <coughs> excuse me sql here so in from class, can I work with that? That's what we will call it as a inline views. Inline views. So you are going to write a query in the from class. Instead of table name, you are going to write a query and get the information. Which scenario we will go for use this? Okay, in select class, can I write a again select statement? Okay, so general uh, questions they'll be asking. Can you tell me how to delete uh, duplicate rows from the table, how to select the duplicate rows, how to get a, a third highest salary from the query. If I write select count uh, star, what will be the result? If I select count of one from table, what will be the result? If I select count of one from dual table, what will be the result? Which scenario we will use dual tables when you are writing the queries, why it is required? <clears throat> Excuse me. So this type of uh, questions, so uh, they'll be asking. There are around 10 to 15 standard questions uh, that generally we don't use in the real time. Very rare case, but still uh, it's a standard. Questions in the interview they will be expecting. We must be clear with the answer, with the explanation. So th those all will be talking uh, 10, 15 questions. Uh, uh, what are the questions and what are the answers we have to give? Uh, that is fixed. Uh, that we'll be discussing uh, in our uh, training. Okay, so this is about the SQL uh, syllabus, which is expected. This this all topics, we must be clear theoretically as well as the uh, practically. If we are clear with that, then we'll be easily, uh, you will be able to clear the interviews very easily as well as we can work independently in the project. So maybe a couple of options uh, might be added for this uh, when we are talking about the pseudo columns. like row ID, row num, next well, car well, this is all pseudo columns, right? So what is row ID format? What is row num? When the row ID will be generated? When the row num will be generated? Oh, have you used any time row num? Why you have used? What purpose? So we should have an example for every of that so that we can confidently speak in the interview. Yes, I have used the row num when I'm trying to select some invoices. Row ID, when you try to insert, it will be generated and what will be the row ID format. So the, this this they will be expecting. So we have to be very clear with that. So this all will come continuation practice. In one day, we cannot learn it is, okay. So continuously, we have to start uh, preparing and as well as I said, uh, prepare the notes and go ahead with that. Okay, this is about the SQL concepts uh, or minimum, which we have to prepare for our collapse technical when we are going to apply as a four years of experienced consultant. Okay, thank you.